The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour, and it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, we're looking at the Dow Futures. This is going to be the 8 a.m. show. Um, had it changed schedule at the last minute. So we're, instead of noontime, where I usually do my show, this is, in fact, the 8.07 show in the morning, Eastern Time. So let's get to it. The Dow, the Dow closed at 26,656, about 300 points off the all-time high. We're looking at the futures up 43 right now. It's going to be very interesting because uh, the technicals are still quite strong, and it did close above trend line resistance. And what I've said to subscribers to my opening call, we'll watch it closely because if at 12.45 today, if the, if the Dow is down 30, po 30 points or more, I would be looking at a fairly weak close. If it's 40 points or more, then I suspect it will be going higher. And then we're looking at a chance that the S&P, which came, the SPY actually was within less than a point of the all-time high. Um, chances are that the Dow will follow now rather than later. So we're looking at this. Is a divergence between the IYT, which is the transports. We'll get into that. In the meantime, just wanted to show you that the E-mini right now, let's see the ES. I'm going to go to that one. Yeah, let's go to this particular contract right now. This is the, right there. That is the June contract trading at 2937.25 down 75 cents. The high yesterday, breakout of this oval pattern, said that the high of 2939.75 is going to be key. Today's high so far is 2939.75. So we're going to be watching this to see what happens. And I'll tell you why I think there's something here that says we've got to be on the lookout for some kind of reversal really soon, is that the SMHs, the semiconductors, did have a nice push to the upside to make a new recovery all-time high in leg D in the Chapman wave at 118, what was that, 118.87, I think it was, 118.89, trading right now at 118, down 59 cents. Texas Instruments came out with earnings, and I was doing Tom's show yesterday at 4, uh, 4 o'clock to 5, and I mentioned that the, um, the result of Texas Earnings announcement was that it was up five points. But if overnight it started to uh, fade and there was a, a downturn, that would suggest to me that we're finally getting some repercussions of what we're seeing in at least what I'm hearing all the time about orders not being there, that most people in the business are saying, wait a minute, there, there, isn't, there aren't enough orders right now to be talking about all-time highs in the semiconductor index. Um, so there's, there's kind of a disparity there, and how does that get resolved? My suspicion is that the, that the semiconductors are telling us about future earnings. Maybe the, th the third quarter is where things really pick up, and that we might see a pullback in the semis while the orders start to come in, and that could happen any time in the next few weeks. In the meantime, back at the ranch, you've got Texas Instruments on, on Tuesday after the bell. You've got LAM Research, R L R C X LAM Research, coming out this afternoon, and it's trading at 194.78, way under the all-time high of 237, I believe it was, 234.88 back in August of last year, and uh, dropped really sharply into the 122 area in December, and now it's trading at 194.70 points. Uh, you're going to expect some kind of a pullback. Leg D in the weekly chart. I'm looking at this real closely because if LAM Research comes out with another, just a blowout order that they had last time, a fabulous, I mean, what they announced was that they had organized their, um, their they would kind of cut back so that they were ready for the cutback. So I think that it was an optimistic outlook based on a very negative potential and the earnings were a little bit better than people thought. So it really ran up, and they had a big buyback. So now we're looking at it and saying, okay, 
if any time in the next uh, few days, uh, Lamb is trading not at 190, uh, 198 to a new recovery high, but instead up four or five points, instead it's down four points, that's going to be a big negative. And then you've got this incredible um, Xilinx. Xilinx in the semiconductor uh, industry, XLNX trading at 137.69 right now as I'm speaking up 54 cents pre-market at an all-time high, spectacular move over the last four months, over the last quarter where we announced pre where we announced earnings before, and they were spectacular. Let's see what happens here, because uh, let's face it, if that is a blowout, another one, now this thing is just going to scream into the 144 area. Um, but right now, I think there's a chance could be a little digestive phase. So I'm saying the semiconductor is going to be the big clue for us, together with the XLX, S, XLK, that is the S&P Select Tax Spider Fund, all-time high as well, trading pre-market up 14 cents at 78.99, all-time high, leg B only in the monthly chart and the weekly chart. That is really good action. That speaks to an amazing 2019, 2020 coming up. If this is really just a leg B in the weekly chart and a leg A instead of an, an F in the monthly chart, that would be absolutely incredible. I suspect that we're in for a bit of a pullback, a little bit of a, a, a drawdown here. We'll see. In the meantime, let's go to the other uh, indes, indices. The uh, QQQ NDX 100 pre-market is up 28 cents at 190.59, all-time high leg C in the weekly chart. Very good. The, if you look at the um, gold, I just wanted to show you something here. Gold is trading up $1.50, having a low, uh, higher low than yesterday. So this is going to be quite important because the stochastics at 9%. It's turned up a little bit. On balance volumes turned up a little bit. The MACD is still very negative. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of a bounce here. And then we come back and do a retest. Let's face it, this uptrend, this little mini up channel that I call the Chapman Wave inside track support line, propellant line, uh, we broke under it yesterday, don't we? The gold continuous contract broke under it has closed above it. This is really important. The close on Friday below 12.68 would be very negative. So I'm watching this very closely, and I'll tell you why. The silver, look at this silver chart, mm. a very ugly candle yesterday, but closed not too bad. And this morning it's up 0.03 at 14.83. Uh, that is the technicals here are way better than in the gold contract, but it hasn't really helped silver because it keeps making lower lows. And the weekly chart is still very, very poor, technically, as is the monthly. That means we can go to the dollar and see where the dollar is trading at this point. The dollar is up 10 cents at 97.69. Now that it's gone into the 97.60s, 70s, broken out for a leg D in the weekly chart, monthly chart, and remains now it's in leg C finally with very good technicals. I like this. And look at, let me just blow this up a little bit. Um, Look at the weekly chart in the middle here, daily on the left, weekly in the middle. On the right is the monthly. Look at that. The Magni is just crossed, finally has crossed positive after the um, December high. I'll be back. We'll talk about it in a moment. Um, the Dow futures are up 44 and the S&P futures up 25 cents. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. 
The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So uh, we're looking at the E-mini here. The five-minute chart shows the rate of peak F and the Chapman wave right there at 29, 39.75. Early this morning, that was at about 6.30 or so. Pulled back to about 2.936. Now it's bouncing. I would just say this. If in the afternoon show at 12, uh, we are now 8.18. So at 12.18, if the E-mini is up, about six points, I would have to say that's really good action. If it's down three to four points, that's just going to say, you know what, I think we had a good move yesterday, and uh, now there's a little bit of a retracement, and we'll see how that plays out. And the, the earnings this afternoon, there are just oodles of stocks coming out. Uh, let me just see Dave uh, White posted that earlier on. Let me see if I can get to that. I'm going to look at it right here. Okay, we've got... Uh, North Northrop Grumman trading NOC, look NOC right there. Uh, it's up 20 cents, 292 ABC DE. It's in leg E. Um, this is a nice bounce uh, from for the uh, defense area, and we'll see what happens with the others. I just want to mention that Boeing is up six, up yeah, six dollars right now. At 380, it's got the lowercase h that goes to the lowercase m pattern that should start to fail very soon. That's the way I'm looking at it. I just wanted to go back to the uh, the dollar just to say that this is very good action right now, um, up nine cents, having broken out, but it needs to close in the 97.72 or higher area on Friday. I'd prefer actually to see it close at 98.10 or higher. And that will be very good action. So far, it's good, but not great action. So, and you can see the MACD is just turned up in the weekly. Stochastic's nice at 82%. I prefer it in the 90% area. The daily is struggling hard to recapture the, uh, the, the, the upside momentum that it had before it made that high of 97.52. In fact, I think it was around about April the 1st. And if you look at the euro, EURUSD, the euro dollar currency pair, very weak action. Uh, 1.120 right now. Uh, it's only down a little bit, but it needed to be after that Chapman Wave Roman candle of yesterday. Let me just explain what this means. Let me expand this so you can use this as a technique. You see this candle right here where it opens, makes a tiny little wick, and then it sh drops sharply, and then it closes 50% off the, the low, um, or maybe sometimes a little higher, and it looks like a Roman candle. My My... Uh, technical, uh, this is something I developed a long time ago, and it seems to have worked very nicely a lot of the time, is that if there is a 
trade in a shorter time frame in case this is a daily chart so the 120 minute chart it says if it stays there for about um a certain period of time a short period of time and it goes halfway into the wick in this case it would be 1.121 if it does that there's a real good chance you're going to test the low or probably break the low of the previous day's candle. In this case, the low is 1.119. So we'll be watching that. That's the one thing. If you look at the USD JPY, it was trying to rally, uh, but now it's kind of stalled. Hasn't made that leg D in the daily. It's at 111.82. This is the yen. And he has a very successful reversal of a chapter with Roman candle in the weekly. That was December. Uh, that was going into the week of January the 4th. Uh, and all it did is it refused to go even close to the halfway marker, and it rallied very nicely. Now it's got a D in the weekly chart, holding very nicely. The weekly chart is improving. Um, monthly chart is is quite good. So we'll see if the yen is able, the dollar yen currency pair is able to get above 112.17 for a leg D in the daily. So those are those that area. Crude oil should be pulling back surely. Uh, yep, it's all pulled back a full eight cents at 6623. You know, this is really good action. That 200 period moving average in the weekly chart is 6520. Um, it's gone above that. The week is still young, not even halfway through the week. Let's see if it can close above 6520. I like this action. It's also a good economic bellwether because it's saying that uh, within the context of the economy, crude oil is being needed. And I like that. So now let's do something else here. Oh, Caterpillar is coming out today, huh? Um, well, that was yeah, Caterpillar. Let me just see. Caterpillar, one of my Dow Quartet. Caterpillar is down three at 138.84. Hmm, that could impact the uh, the market. Made a peak E in the daily chart of the uh, uh, the daily chart of peak E at 144.77, and now it's at 138.84. So it's Caterpillar, IBM. IBM is trading. Up 36 cents, really not a very good looking daily chart. Weekly chart's not too bad. Monthly chart looks terrible. It's a 140.80. Uh, Triple M had a pretty nice day yesterday. Uh, Triple M trading 219.50. Uh, could have recycled. Maybe that's an F slash C, a B. So we're going to be watching this closely. 219.50. If it gets to 222 in the next three, four days, that's going to really help the market a lot. And so is UTX, which had a fabulous session yesterday. It had a gap up, but then it closed with a long-legged doji. And now it's trading at 140.02. If it closes, if it goes underneath yesterday's low of 138.88, that's going to be a handicap to the market. So, so far, that's um, it's key to be watching that. Weekly chart is very good in leg B. Okay, now we're going to look at um, Hog came out with earnings yesterday, and I guess, let's see, Hog is Holly Davidson. Not too good. Today's down 103 pre market, 37.89. Let me do a couple of other things here. I just want to look at high grade copper. High grade copper is it's important. It's holding quite nicely at 2.90 in this uh, sideways move in the weekly chart. In fact, I'm even going to put a rectangle, uh, sorry. I'm going to put in an oval pattern, and that says that if there's a break into the threes in the next, uh, well, what should I say? Oh, it's already in leg D. Yeah, if there's a break into the threes in in copper, I would say that's good together with oil, together with um, WOOD. Where's that? That's the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. I typed it somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, hmm, it's been pulling back. It's not doing all that well. This is the global. So I want to see the global timber and forestry ETF, Wood, WOD, trading 63.55 up in the 66s at some point soon, rather than the uh, under 61.50. That would be quite negative. I want to see high grade copper jump into the threes, and I want to see uh, crude oil holding here. It can have a pullback, but holding here is quite good based on you know, just economic activity, Boston Scientific. Uh, came out with earnings down at dollar fifty nine. Oh, that doesn't look very good. That's got that arch formation. Uh, had a nice session yesterday, but now it's giving it back to thirty four thirty. Uh, made a new recovery high in the forty ones just last month. Yeah, let's watch this one closely. This is part of the the group, the medical technology group, because the IBB, which is the biotechs, the Nasdaq biotechs, um, it's had a tough time, a really tough time, trading at one hundred six point eighty. All right. We'll be back. Uh, I think, uh, did I get a message here to say that 
Let me just check. Oh, well, we've got 50 seconds, 48 seconds. Let's do this. And it's very important that I, I, I cover as much as possible TLT. The TLT is trading at 123.10. It's up 53 cents. My suspicion is if the bonds, if money comes into bonds flowing out of stocks, because stocks start to pull back over the next few days, you will see the, the 123.80 to 124.20 area hit in the TLT. But if it slides under 121, money will stay going into stocks. Um, let me have a look. Oh, we've got some earnings coming out as well. I'll talk about it in a moment. Siri is one of those. I'll be back. Basil Chapman. This is 8.26 in the morning, replayed at 12.26. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, we're looking at the XLF at 2739. That's the S&P uh, um, Select Financials ETF. And it is. it needs, for my work, it just needs to get one little pop to the upside, 2747 for a leg D. Uh, but it's very close to... Um, the MACD is still very strong. The stochastic is very strong. So the support at 26.95 should be very good over the short term. This is a positive. Uh, let me just double check on the semis now. We've just had some, some report must have come out at 8.30. I don't know what the result is yet. And um, so we're looking at 118.60. Uh, I had my subscribers going short uh, Two days ago, was it two days ago? And we got taken out yesterday. And uh, But I'm still thinking that the semiconductors are going to be the big clue here. Uh, we'll see what happens. All I can say is that trading the 120s would be absolutely fabulous 
action and pulling back underneath it. It'd have to go underneath yesterday's low of 116.80. So that'll take quite a dive. Uh, it'll have to be really bad news to do that. Um, I'm also looking at, where was I? I was looking at during the break. Yes. So um, in terms of earnings releases, I'd mentioned Siri. And Siri, I don't know if it did come out. It says what time? Uh, does it give a time? Let's just check that out. Uh, no. It had times earlier on. Oh, okay. Um, so as I'm looking at it, Siri tra right now is trading down 16 cents. But it's on right on the 200 period expansion moving average of the daily chart. And if you think about it, the orders that are being sold, they still up in the 16 million area. And a lot of the cars come automatically with Siri, uh, with uh, Sirius, uh, Sirius XM uh, satellite radio. And I'm thinking that maybe, but they have a terrible business model. I, you know, I, I've, I have Siri in one of the cars, and um, I, I call them up. And I said, wait a minute, well, what's this new charge? Uh, $24 something or other. And they said, oh, that's a new charge. I said, I hardly ever use it. Uh, I'm not interested. Uh, just get rid of it. I had been told by my friend that you can get it for like five bucks. You just have to bicker a little bit. So I said, okay. And the next thing, I said, hold on a minute. I'll talk to my supervisor as if he, he had the script all there, I'm sure. So he waited a few seconds and he came back and he offered me the deal. So I got a, a really good deal. Um, I think it's worth it for that amount of money to be able to have it when I'm on these longer trips to New York and back. But at the same time, um, and there's so many other channels that you can get these days. But I think that Siri, this, something's wrong. It's been stuck between 640 and 550 for a very long time. So maybe it is the business model because they, they're really kind of sloppy with what they do. Um, I don't know how they're going to tighten that up. But I'm looking at it. I, we had it once, and then we got out of it, and I've never been back. I've been just looking at it, wondering why it's stuck in a range. Maybe if it pulls back again towards the 550 area, it'll be good for another pop in this rectangle formation. Just trade the bottom to the top, bottom to the top. Don't have to even short it. Just wait. So that's what I'm looking at there. Next thing is that I want to do, uh, talk about um, the – where was it? It was SWK. Esther, did I mention this? I've just been doing so much work trying to get my newsletter out as well. Um, up 6.55, 154. SWK is Stanley Black and Decker. That's tools. That's a good, another good economic sign. There are a lot of good economic signs. And it's made an all-time high of 176 back in January. How many stocks have we had? Indexes have we looked at? New York Stock Exchange, high in January of last year. Never got back in the bounce that the others, the Qs, um, and the Dow and the S&P made new recovery highs and new all-time highs, in fact, intra-year intra and then plummeted back in September, October to the December lows. But some, some areas like Standing Black and Decker never did that. Now it's in leg B in the monthly. Back D hasn't crossed positive yet, but look at the weekly chart. Back D strong in leg D. This is going to go to a leg E. No, it's going to extend leg D. This is the same week. So it goes above a doji candle with a good close. That says that the support now is the doji close, which is at um, last week was 145.74. So that's going to be key support on the shorter term. Uh, very nice action. So that's a good sign economically. And we're looking at Edwards Life Sciences. Did I mention this yesterday? I think I did. Uh, it's down to $1.98 at 179. Made an all time high last month. And um, now it's pulling back a little bit. Uh, just a big digestive uh, phase. Six, I spoke about this, I think, yesterday. Six is coming out with earnings. Uh, this is six flags. And you would expect this is the season of jolly. This is the season where uh, you see six flags do very well. Usually, uh, that's where the, the business is in the summertime. And it had, uh, I don't know if that's an all-time high, but the high was 73.38 in June of 2018. Drops a little bit, goes to the 47 area. 46.68 was the low in December. And now it's trading at 52.30. It was at 52. Ah, closed at 53, 52.37 yesterday. And now it's up a point and a quarter. Is at 53.51. Nice action. Monthly chart does not look good. Weekly chart does not look good. Let's hope that this is now the start of a new move 
this is leg D. So let's do this in chapter wave methodology. We've got the low there. Yep, that's the low. And we go from there to the first peak. There's your peak A. Higher peak is right there at peak B. Higher peak is there at C, then at D. And this is leg E to the upside. Hey, this is good action. So even if it pulls back and digests, maybe six is something to keep your eye on. I'm going to make a note of it in my book. Six is something to keep your eye on because you've got the whole of the summer to go. I'll do that in the circle. There it is. Just keep your eye on that. Uh, this is good action. And finally, six flags, entertainment, corporation. Oh, I didn't mention what it was. Six flags, entertainment. So they have those fun fairs and all. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll be watching this. Okay, next thing I want to look at is within the context of the overall market, I want you to get a feel for how Hack is doing. Hack is the uh, cyber security trading at 41.19. Um, oh, all time high just a few days ago, at, uh, five days ago at 41.45. Uh, leg C in the weekly chart and a leg, I don't know, G slash A in the monthly. This is really good action. So if you're in it, I would just say congratulations. But if you're not in it, I would wait for somehow or other. There should be a pullback at some point into the low 39s, between 39.20 and maybe 37.80, somewhere around there. That's where I would like to look at it for an entry point. So a um, couple of things that I wanted to do is just to show you here, pre-market, uh, we're looking at the E-minis up, only now it's down 50 cents. 2937.50 made a double top. I love this pattern. It's a pattern that I, I, I look at very often. We call it in the Chapman Wave methodology, we call it the drop bucket formation. It's a double top. It just looks like, there you are. It looks like a long arm of the backhoe. Uh, there it is, long arm of the backhoe. Make that, there you are. Cover it in, make it thicker so you can see. Goes up, it makes a cup formation. And then it fails right at, where does it fail? Fails right, let's make it a weight, thick. And now you can see exactly what I'm looking at, style is one. And color is now blue. Here comes the break. By the time I finish the break, you'll see there's the drop bucket pattern. Double top, pull back. If it goes one third to a half of the lift to the base, there's a good chance it's going to test the low bar. That would be 29.36.25. There's a 29.36.75 right now. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, Free Market. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade L-A-B-U or L-A-B-D. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hi, folks. So we were looking at this uh, E-mini. This is a patent. This is like... Uh... There's a move that bumps into resistance all the way up, straight line. And then it makes a, a cup formation. Retest tries to make a left side, right side price time match, which means you can find a vertical point that I call the plumb line. It has equal number of bars on the left to the right. And then it tries to get there. This got there in, in a shorter period of time. Couldn't break above the 29.39.25 level. Hit it twice, 29.39.25, once, and then again at 8.25, and now it's pulled back a bit. And that's the rule of thumb. In the Chapman methodology, there should be maybe even another cup formation. Or if it takes us out decisively, there could be a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. At any point during the day today, uh, we're at 29.37.25 right now, just down 75 cents. If there is a two out of three 10 minute bars consecutively a close below 29.34 there's a real good chance that the 29.32 low that was made right at 29.31.75 made at four o'clock this morning um, it's going to be tested and there'll be a weak close if for any reason there's a rally and you can get to the 29.42 area it's about five, five points higher and hold there at about 12.45 this afternoon during what I would be doing is my normal show. Not this, this will be the rebroadcast of that particular time. Exactly now, in exactly four hours time. Uh, is that correct? Three hours time. Three hours, 8.49. Yes, uh, we are looking at um, the E-mini up four or five points. I would say, you know what, it's probably gonna close pretty nicely, but if it's down three or more points, it says, hey, hold on going to have a tough time closing positively today. All right, enough with that. What I did want to look at was, question I had was, could I look at, where did it go? IYT. IYT is the uh, transports, and the, the, the questioner said, um, what's with the um, transport? Some of the truckers are lagging, and uh, not all's well. In other words, there isn't a confirmation yet of the same proportion of rally in the transports as in, is to the Dow, this is kind of Dow theory. And all I'm saying is that there's been a really good rally in the IYT. Uh, yes, we are long for subscribers from the 186 area. It's at 198 right, 198 right now. Um, I like what I see. I think it's very good. It's trying to hug that that 109.09 area. Sorry, 199.09 area from way back here. This peak, the week of the 7th of December. <sighs> I like what I see, and I think that this is good action. If you're looking at, uh, what was I looking at before? What was United, UNP? I think it was UNP. No, it wasn't. It was uh, the other one. So this is leg C for UNP. This is United Union Pacific. Uh, Union Pacific trading right now at 177, up 27 cents, 177 round number. And it's only in leg C in the weekly chart. Um, it broke out, and this this move to the upside. You know, I, I haven't recorded a G slash C. I like this very much in the monthly chart. Um, so that's good. The other one I was looking at was SC. Well, no, it's not. Oh, I forgot what it was. I'm sorry. Um, I was looking at it uh, yesterday. It came out with earnings. I think I wrote it down. I don't have it right in front of me. It was the other? Uh, it was the other. 
I've got it written down. Let me find it. Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Oh, Facebook comes out today. Let's look at Facebook. Microsoft as well. Um, oh, NSC. That's what I was looking at. NSC, Northern Suffolk. Northern Suffolk. Northern Southern. I made a made a high of 208 um, intraday. It's... Uh, Oh, overnight, yes, it's up 6.33. That's going to help the transports again today. Uh, Doji 201.67 leg E closed yesterday, and now it's spiked up overnight. You know, that's really good. I like the transports. I like what's going on. Um, let's just look at Microsoft. Microsoft trading at uh, up 51 cents at 125.95. Leg D in the day, leg D in the weekly, and leg F slash B in the monthly. This is all-time highs. It looks really good. But everything's priced to perfection. So yes, the MACD just crossed positive. Stochastics at 95%. All I'm saying is that if Microsoft comes out with really good earnings, not only is it going to help the Dow, but it's going to um, also be very positive uh, for the uh, transports. Uh, sorry, for the transports for the uh, XLK sector. That's the tech sector. And I'm looking at this and saying, okay, new all-time high breakout. What's the worst case situation? Well, the worst case situation is it takes a breather and it retests the 122 to 120 area over the coming three, four weeks. But so far, this is very good action. Let's see how it closes today. And the other question I had was, uh, uh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Uh, Tesla, oh, Tesla comes out today or th tomorrow? Down $1.35 at 262, oh man. They have problems, and he, he keeps making these statements that are they're just a little far-fetched. He can't do all these things. A million cars, he said something about that, um, coming in with uh, fully automated. I, I just don't see that. So Boeing must have come out with some news today, and now they're up 3.5. They're up 6-something, now they're up 3-point-something. I'm going to be watching this closely because it seems to me that Boeing has a real problem here and it could be uh, you know, cut back in orders, whatever it is. This is the first time you've seen that. And I spoke about this before, about Boeing have this Chapman Wave stalk leg formation, the leg, the body, the beak. And it went to a leg D in the, day, in the monthly chart. It closed underneath the high that was made, the all-time high that was made last month before the terrible news, the crash at 446.01. I'm trading right now at 377. I just don't see it. I think it's stuck for a while. I think it will be back because they always get things right. But in the meantime, I think there's a problem. There's an H pattern that if it trades on a weekly basis underneath 361, this is say 359. If it closes a week, any week under 359, that's a problem. It means you've got time and price in the consolidation for Boeing. The next thing I was going to look at was for today, uh, there, oh, SAP came out with earnings. SAP, SAP is trading up 10, almost 11 at 125.75. So it's, it's at, it's almost going to test in a V-shaped formation the all-time high that was made at 127.16 just in September. What a spectacular move! One, two, three, three horrible months down to the 95 area. Was that round number 95? 95. 94.81. And now it's coming back. That's amazing. Okay. And I'll look, I'll look at Lulu. Let's see. Is that a question? Yes. And Lulu, what I look at? Lulu. Uh, Lulu. Um, this is a leg D in the weekly, leg E in the monthly. It's trading up $1.12 at 177.90. It gapped up. Now, I love when stocks gap up like this, like it did back on the 28th of March. One day it's just trading there, tootly, tootly, tootly at 143.88. And the next day with earnings and all the rest, it comes out and it has a low of 166 and it goes to 171.45, makes a cup formation, takes out the previous high, makes another cup, and now it's trading in A, B. See, this is very good action. 176 really looks very good. I'll talk about it a little more when we get back for the final segment. Uh, Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Hour. Uh, this is the pre-recorded show. This is just before 9 o'clock. 
and the futures are up 16 in the Dow, down 50 cents in the S&P. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hi folks, just for this last section, let me finish this Lulu. This is Lulu Lemon Athletics trading at LULU, trading at 177.90, up a dollar twelve. In the weekly chart, there's a cup, tap and wave cup and ladle breakout. That means that it doesn't stop for the little handle. It just goes right through. And that's always very powerful and says that you should go to at least a D and go even higher. And that D right now is right there at the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge resistance line. And I suspect that it's going to go a little higher. So the big question is, what does it do when it retraces? When it retraces, it invariably likes to test the breakout, which will be 164.79 but it doesn't tell you a time. So far, this is very positive action. So Lululemon is very good. Uh, just on a short-term basis, the daily chart says, yeah, there could be a little bit of a pullback. Uh, shorter term, 170, so 177.90 right now. You could see a pullback to the doji candle, so you can go to 173s. So we're watching this one closely. Okay, so for the rest of the day, so this will be a recorded program. This is pre-market, but it'll be replayed for my usual time slot. I'm looking at the Dow and I'm saying, okay, you've got a tremendous amount of resistance, Chapman Wave automated resistance levels in the 26,600s. You break into the 26,720s, that's very action, very good action. If you stall here, you could stall just for a little while. We're watching that one very closely. And just keep an eye on the VIX index because there is a lot of mixed market here actions, uh, some very positive, some negative. VIX at 1238. Uh, 38 up 10 cents. If it pulls back at 
after one o'clock, if the VIX is trading under 12, 10, the market is going to move higher, good chance. And if it starts to trade, it's at 12.38 right now. If it starts to trade at 12.65, this is the actual VIX index over 12.65, it says be careful, should be a bit of a pullback coming. I think that kind of sums things up. Now you're going to have Larry Pesavento coming up. You've got, then you've got, I think Tommy is, Tommy is back with his dad, Tom O'Brien, uh, today. Then you've got I Think or Swim. Then you've got my re recorded show. I'll be back regular time tomorrow. And then you've got Steve Rhodes, and you've got Dave White and Tom O'Brien. So have a great day. And, yep, I like the fact that the dollar's been rallying. That's good. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow.